Elder Cunningham! At me! At me! Hello! Live for Eurovision! No mirrors around, so just press the button. Okay, ready? <laughs> You're very good at this. I've never had paparazzi before. <laughs> Excuse me, is this yours? Yep. What do you think you're doing? Oh, sorry. This is my son. Thanks. I'm back. So. What the hell have I been doing for the last year? I've been trying to find out who I am, you know? I've been trying to connect with who I am as a person. And what a better way to do that than going back to my roots. My father was born in Cyprus. For those who don't know where Cyprus is, Cyprus is a little country somewhere in Europe that's not part of Greece. So yes, I'm Greek Cypriot. I'm from the Greek side, not the Turkish side. Sorry? No. No, no I haven't. I haven't been to Cyprus. Eurovision is one, my favorite time of the year. And two, it is so special. It's connecting the entire world together through songs. When entering Eurovision, you need to have the best of the best. You know, that means I've got to hire the best. So that means styling, hair, makeup, choreography. Now I am ready, I'm ready to go gun ho And I really think I have what it takes to win Eurovision. Sure, I'm no Dami Im, but Dami's Asian. I'm actually European. Just have a few of my idols here. So we've obviously got Guy Sebastian here. You know, as much as I'm against Australia being in Eurovision, I believe that Guy Sebastian did a wonderful performance last year in Eurovision Song Contest 2015. I mean, I've always been a fan since uh, Angels brought me here in Australian Idol, and I just think he's great. <laughs> we can't forget my absolute favourite, Sakis Rouvas, who represented Greece in 2004 with Shake It. One of my all-time favourite, favourite performances of Eurovision. That's why he's next to my bed. Uh, every year, my sister and I used to dance around the kitchen singing all the Eurovision hits. It was a very special time for us. And then eventually, when I was old enough, I could start hosting my own parties. I've hosted parties in Melbourne and Sydney. I'm quite well known for them, actually. This year, I'm hosting my biggest Eurovision party to date. That's right, I'm inviting 80 of my closest friends to get nice and cosy in my little apartment so that we can huddle around the TV and watch this year's Eurovision. I am so excited. <laughs> I've asked my friends to dress up accordingly because obviously Eurovision there is there is a style, there is um, lots of glitz and glam that comes with it. I can't hear. I really think everyone's gonna go the extra mile and everyone knows how much I love Eurovision, so I really feel like the party's gonna be a huge success. <laughs> <laughs> That's 100% chance that she will not get in. I actually think that she's got a chance of getting wow, to your mission. Because Nobody I mean, she's. Knows who she is. But did you, had you heard of Conchita before? Yes, of course she I have. I certainly had it. And I can't help not being into the idea, okay? On Turkey, she's great. We have a natural born. No, don't laugh. Liv, even if your nipple falls out on stage, I still think that you could win your vision. Yes, you should probably get onto this.